What it do, Flight Crew? FTC. Fight team, stand up! We got the man Darn Martin! Disabled man denied handicapped spot. What happens next is shocking. Now, Four weeks pay, pay, pay. let's shit out, first of all. all you can leave. Hey, boss. Oh, hey, Jared. I was just I definitely the sometimes, as I can say, I'm about to say, I'll be parking sometimes handicapped spots. But what I can say, I've actually had it happen like two times. Like, you know, handicapped person actually has a thing. It's like, hey, you know what I'm saying? And I gladly got back in the car and got right back out. You know what I'm saying? But listen, man, I understand. Sometimes, man, you got to park front row. But just remember, there's somebody that's more in need of that spot than you. Keep that in mind. About the new senior manager position opening up. I'll be making my decision later on today. So, hey, you bring your A game here. I won't let you down, boss. Oh, and nice suit. Fits you real nicely. I'll walk in with you. Let me park real quick. Oh, that's the one dude that owns a what hot dog stand and has his friend? Really? That's a handicap spot. You can't park there. Who cares about handicap people? Oh, uh, I don't say that. I'll be the new senior manager soon, so I can park wherever I want. That doesn't mean nothing just because you got a promotion. Dude, Maybe? Can, you know, can I park there? I have a handicap permit. Absolutely not. I've already parked. Go find another. Bro! Come on, man. Spot. Well, I'm using a wheelchair. You, you know, it would help me out a great deal if you could just... Did you not hear me? I said... Look, don't worry about it, sir. You can have my spot. I'm parked right there, so... Look, this is why you'll never be the next senior manager. You waste your time helping people? That can do nothing for you. Bro, and it's crazy because it's funny because it's actually how people that work, you know what I'm saying, in a, you know, in a real job and stuff, like... They think, you know what I'm saying? When I was working at Steak and Shake and Chick-fil-A, bro, I would have all the people that was above me making like two, three extra more dollars an hour trying to talk to me like they own me or some shit, bro. And I never let them ever, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, take it to that point. Even as like, because like most times I'll be coming to high, you know, a little bit like, you know, friendly, cool, like the chill, you know what I'm saying? Wiz Khalifa type dude, you know what I'm saying? Not like all irritated. But I never, I always put my foot down when they was all trying to boss me around, bro. And I love that they, always felt like the even the assistant managers and like the managers you know what i'm saying like obviously like i would not try to show up like two hours late because they, you know they can definitely say something with that but they never ever tried to like little nigga me ever you know what i'm saying because i always gave that like because i have like a certain like facial expression and like body language that like gives off like if you know me in person that just like yo you better you need to chill the fuck you can play with somebody else like that but not me you know what I'm saying? And it's just like they knew not to take it out. I always, I, I love that, bro. Like, make sure y'all do that yourself too, man. Don't ever let nobody try to walk over you in the workforce, bro. Because they will do that, bro. They will do that. You should always have compassion. And they won't even care. Oh please, that's the dumbest. Just because you get a manager had. position does not mean you treat handicapped or disabled people inside. any less different. I'm sorry about that. I'm over here right now. Thank you. You know, if this isn't what the next senior manager looks like, I don't know what is. This dude's getting ahead of himself. Not that you would know. See what I'm talking about? They would literally, I promise you this is so relatable, bro. This is so relatable. Like, I remember this one dude at uh, Chick-fil-A when I used to work there. So, like, before, I don't know how it is in Chick-fil-A now because sometimes I'd be going to some and the shirt colors be different. You know what I'm saying for people? But, okay, so for like, the regular employee that makes, like, the regular bare minimal wage, like what I did, and I always stayed in, into that category, I never got a promotion, we usually had the black shirts on. So if you had the black shirts, now it may be different now, so I don't want you to go off of that. But usually the people that work the black shirts in Chick-fil-A, like if you have a black uniform on, like black shirt and then black pants, those are, like, you know, the minimum wage workers. And then the people that have, like, the red shirts... They're like the assistant managers, like the team leader, like basically like if you were drive through or like the cashier, they're like the drive through manager or like the cashier manager. Those are the red shirts. And if they have the blue shirts, that means that they're the official assistant manager of the actual store. And if they come in dressed like with the suit or anything and tie, they're the actual manager slash owner of the store. You know what I'm saying? I remember I had this one dude that actually went to my same high school and I don't give a fuck if you watch this video too. You know what I'm saying? Because you know what you, you know what you was doing back in the day trying to little nigga a nigga. You know what I'm saying? 
So his boy, this boy, what you said, and it's crazy because I had classes with him and everything. You know what I'm saying? And I remember when he got that promotion to the the actual uh the the the, the manager assistant manager position. Um, he had the uh, the blue shirt on. Um, and some days he was actually able to like come in with the tie and stuff like on special days and stuff Just like the owner slash managers. They would be able to come in with the tie and stuff I remember I was in the bathroom. I'm about to clock in and stuff. You know, what I'm saying just you know again freshen up and shit You know what I'm saying? He came in there exactly with this attitude just like I brought I, bro I promise you not bro, but he was in my face talking about you see this suit and tie yeah, this the big fifteen. This the big fifteen dollar per hour. You know what I'm saying? Attire. You know what I'm saying? And he patted me on my shoulder, and he was just like, "You may get this one day, Monty." And like, if people know me from like growing up, like my full name's Kimani, but people would call me Monty and stuff. Like people that were like, not only this close to me, but sometimes like they'll just say that in a lazy way. But that was like the short term saying my name, like Monty or Money. You know what I'm saying? So, I remember he did that ish, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ended up staying there for like a month later and I'll never look back. Oh, what are you doing, man? I don't know if anybody cared about that backstory, but I was sharing with y'all, yeah. Can you see I got here first? Or are you handicapped and blind too? Well, can you see the stall clearly says handicap on it? And it's the only way for me to get my wheelchair in the stall, man. Well, that's not my problem now, is it? Dude. If you want this stall, then wait till I'm done with it. Bro, this dude is messed up, man. What happened? He used to be so humble, didn't he? Like, um, hey, no, that was his friend. That was his friend that opened up the hot dog stand. The bigger stone that I can take you to. Really? Thank you so much. Why are you being real nice to me? I just believe in helping people. It's our company motto. So, please, after you. So you're a senior manager here? <laughs> no. I wish. That'd be my dream, but Jared, my co-worker you met, mm -hmm. he's probably going to end up getting that position, so. Damn. Well, you just keep doing the right thing. Because in the end, a good heart always wins. That's true. Here we are. <laughs> I heard the promotion comes with the new office. Maybe you can visit me sometime. This yeah. dude is a cornball, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is he wearing I'm Vans with a dress up suit? Let's grab it some more. Who even are you? And what are you doing here again? Oh, I came to visit. Can you grab that for me, please? I, I need to take my medicine. Bro, why is Buddy Seriously? so rude to say he's a manager? You people think you're so entitled to everything, don't you? No, not at all. You want easy parking. The biggest bathroom stalls. And for everyone to bend over backwards for you. Do you want me to push you around too? Uh, no, I can You know what? Never mind. I don't even know why I asked. Come on, Evan. Let's go. It's time to meet with the boss. Here. Thank you so much. Are you serious right now? Come bro, on. just because you're the manager doesn't mean you can do whatever, bro. Here? You should all... Save it. But this is why you'll stay as a low-level associate for the rest of your life. Let's go! Dude. Hey, man. Right now, man, now, you don't got to take your ish from your boss, bro. There's something around the corner the better. person who's going to be promoted. Mr. Griffin, has anyone ever told you how great your skin looks? Just oh man, up. and this is just king, king prime ass kissing king right here, bro. Not calling this dude a king, by the way, because, bro, look, this is so fat in the workforce industry. It is so sad, bro. There was this owner at the filet, man, that would come through all the time, bro. And everybody would change their whole body language, bro. And it was the funniest thing. It was the funniest thing, bro. They would cop them just like that. Like, fam, like, y'all. I looked at them, bro, being stoned as hell. Like, bro, you, y'all are so lame, bro. I could never do that, bro. so good with your words. And now the new senior manager is. Hey, I'm about to be made the new senior manager. Get lost. This guy cannot be serious, bro. If you had to pick, like, the most skin-irritating darn man... 
Dar Martin episode. I'm gonna edit that out. Damn. This has to be the one. This guy right here, bro. Bro, I gotta edit that out. This guy right here, bro, is pissing me off so bad I almost broke character, bro. This is how serious this is. And I just, I, bro. No, no, it's okay. You can stay there. Dad? Wait, uh, he's your dad? Yeah. And he's the best dad. He's the reason I started the whole company. You see, my dad hasn't been able to walk most of his life. For as long as I can remember, he's always... Oh, it's that one kid from years from now. But Dang, he gained a lot of weight, though. He was eating, he been eating good. I see it. You know, something happens sometimes. Growing up. Unless you have a fast metabolism. how people would treat my dad. They look down on him and treat him like he was somehow beneath them. I'd see it time and time again. People always treating him differently just because of his handicap. But the part that would hurt most was just how inconsiderate people could be. Bro. Laughing and staring at my dad That's as if wrong, he had bro. no feelings. That's why I vowed to one day start my own company and use it to help disabled people everywhere. So you see, my dad is the reason I started this company. Wow. He's even the reason for our company motto. Always be compassionate to strangers. Wow, Mr. Griffin, that was so touching. This dude right here. And Brian, by the way. Oh, save it, Jerry. <laughs> he did. Damn, he told him to save it. And he's also told me how nice that Evan has been to him. Damn, that's karma, little so nigga. That's why I choose Evan to be our new senior manager of this company. Ooh. Damn, talk about Christmas present. Thank you for this man is steaming. Company values. I'm and sure now it's the so sad part. His own friend is going to hate on him and start becoming envious of him. So now he needs to cut him off. Good. You can't trust him being in your house no more, bro, because wow. that, 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 that new wage salary is going to show. Are you serious? Whoa. No one deserves a promotion more than me. Boy, you better If you don't give me the senior manager position, then I'm quitting. Quit then. Well, that won't be necessary. Hey, shout out to Sir Preston Lee. Oh, he's fired! Shout out to Sir Preston Lee Cyrus, man. We can't sub us without even streaming, man. We off stream. FC Best in Nation. This is ridiculous. Hey, don't be upset. Maybe you can come visit me in my new office sometime. Damn. He said the same shit to him, too! Damn, the tables have turned. Oh, man. Thank you, sir, for putting in a good word. It's like I said, you keep doing the right thing, and in the end, a good heart always wins. Wow, man! I'm just gonna make a 